Welcome Libra. We are going to be looking at what it is you need guidance with. Um, getting a bit of advice from Spirit today. Using postcards from Spirit, Grace cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay Libra, let's get your postcard, shall we? See what Spirit would like to help you with and what they have to say today. Okay, having trouble holding it. One card for Libra, please. Trying to shuffle and it's not even moving. Here we go, Libra. Here we go. Okay. Here's your postcard, Libra. Dear you, do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone or you might have no value? Maybe you think you need to control everyone or else nothing will get done, be healed, be completed, etc. You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome. But we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary. Delegate responsibility to another. Ask for your needs to be met. And when faced with an impossible situation or sticky, enmeshed relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and it's not my job to cure it. Then carry on. It feels good, doesn't it? The best part is everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so, so much. Interesting, Libra. Wow. Okay. So let's get a bit more insight into this, shall we? Okay, tell me more about this, Libra, please. Three cards for Libra. Tell me more about this. One more card for Libra, please. There it is. Wow, these are really flying out. Got something to say here, Libra. Won't be a moment. Okay, Libra, we have peace, we have release, and we have growth. Okay, so first off with peace. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. I really like that considering the postcard that has come out because you know sometimes we really can get in our head and this is at the bottom of the deck too turning in right going within this peace inside of us yeah um because sometimes we can get in our head about things let's have a look what else there is to say for Libra about peace Okay, interesting how the cards are coming out like they are right now. I find that really interesting. Okay, Libra, let's have a look. Get these in the right order that they came out in. So I feel like this is important. Moment to moment and existence. Moment to moment and existence. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, this is like having so much on your mind in a sense of, of there's, there's so much going on or feeling like the burden is all of yours to carry. And it feels as though some of you are just walking blindly through, through life um, and not really being conscious of each step that you take. Um, and this can be in your daily life, you know, um, of just yeah going forward but it's um it's a journey that is you're not 
oh, it's not that you're not aware of it. I want to say you're not conscious of it, but that doesn't feel quite spot on either. But I want to say that each step is being taken not with confidence, put it that way. Not with confidence. And with this existence card here, I feel like when you understand your, your role in the existence of the universe, you will be able to take these steps with confidence. When you understand that there is the universe... And then there's you. That there is no difference between the two. Understanding. And, and I want to say, I'm being given this to say, I am that I am. So it's really saying here, Libra, that you are the existence of all that is, that is who you are, that is what you are. The, the, the thing is that the form appears different. And so when you understand this, this is where you can take each step in peace. Okay? Each step in peace. Okay, I need to have a sneeze. Okay, Libra. Playfulness. Yeah. This is really cool because the energy of the postcard, I feel like, yes, playfulness is definitely needed to go and have some fun, to um, to not just have fun. On, on another part of that, with this card here, often I'll get transparency and I feel like Actually, Libra, this is about you being honest with yourself because this card here is telling me someone is taking these step by step by step um, moments through life, right? Actually sort of unconscious and um, just hoping it all works out. And it's kind of like taking this step and that step and that step and then it's like, oh, I hope I just get, hurry up and get to where I need to go because I really don't want to take these steps. So it's about having fun with it. It's about enjoying it. If you're finding it's really hard um, or um, it's creating some sort of anxiety in you, have fun with it. Find another approach to it so that you can be present in each step that you take because by doing that, you then become present in the existence of your life okay do not hide away Libra come out and allow yourself to move forward okay the fears that are within you need to come up and be looked at okay there's a heavy burden on some of you I want to say with this also is this is exactly what was in the postcard delegate you don't have to clear it, carry it all by yourself. Ask for help where you need it. Okay, really, really important here, Libra. Okay, your inner voice. Yeah, you see, having this, um, t this peace, this joy, this happiness, right? This is going to allow your inner voice to come up and, and speak and actually be heard by you because at the moment it's silenced because this is going on. The suppression is going on. Your inner voice is being suppressed by you. Believing that you're the only one who can carry the burden. But that's your belief. It's not necessarily correct. Okay. And here's this control. Reiterating again exactly what the postcard has said. I can't make this up, Libra. You saw the cards jump out. Right? Looking at which areas of your life can be let go of control wise being really honest with yourself being transparent with yourself even if you don't want to see the truth being honest 
changing direction if that's what you need to do changing the course of your life and it's not just the course of your life it's everyone around you if they're going to change the course of their life going with that you know so this is a very very important with these cards backing up like what the postcard has said said very important okay release let go when we release our attachment to the outcome we allow the power of grace to work its magic yes and this is what this control could be about about right um in the suppression as well you know expecting a particular outcome and if it's not that then no that's not going to that's not how it's working so we need to do something else no you have to let go of that and let it transpire the way it's meant to because why what might actually happen libra is it might be better than you imagined so why would you want to limit yourself to something that could be better than you know and and looking at why that is why why this sense of control is needed is it full security does it make you feel like oh at least i know what's going to happen like you know looking at those things and digging into them to say okay there's something here that i need to work on okay righty so we've got all these cards that have come out here so let me get these into order that one's there and that one's there. Okay, so we have here silence, participation, participating in the silence, right? Um, when we're talking about releasing our attachment to the outcome, this is about what it is that you are building, what is going on in your life. Okay, what you want that to look like, what you see that as being, you know, I mean, it, the, I I suppose in a sense Libra it's a fine balance of having goals and what you want to achieve but also being open to something else taking place or something else forming yeah and being receptive see we have this receptivity card here right being receptive to that coming in, to opening up, because that could be even more beautifully orchestrated than what you could have imagined. Okay, so this is crucial for you to do. Get used to that sort of uncomfortable feeling of accepting the unknown into your life. Because there's sort of this um, feeling of opening up to new experiences, but also controlling what those new experiences will be, if you like, right? So get creative. Let that creativity flow. It, it, it's kind of like colouring outside of the lines, right? Not staying in this rigid way of being, but colouring outside of the lines to make a beautiful masterpiece so that you can become one with that canvas of your life and allowing that to be part of you fully and wholly. Beautiful coming together here. Coming together in a sense of of this blending, there's this blending, um, which is really interesting. Okay, okay. You see here, there's the separation. There's, there's a separation and this person is hanging in the balance and it's kind of like this person is the only thing that connects the two sides here. Whereas this one here is blending beautifully the yellow and the red to make orange. So it's a matter, this is almost like one end of the spectrum to the other. So it's a matter of you finding this middle ground in a sense. Okay, to get creative. Okay, to get, you know, how can these two, these two very contrasting worlds or contrasting ideas come together to work? 
okay this could be even in a partnership here with the two of cups this could be working out how you can you know make because in a partnership right these two people two people just to state the obvious but anyway um two people okay and we come together in life and we sort of agree on the same thing to make it work right but ultimately when two people have come together they've both had different ideas and different dreams of what they want their life to look like so what i feel like here is it is looking at these two dreams and saying how can we make that work Rather than stepping away from those two dreams and just forming one that both agree on. Because you can still do that. But how can you make these two dreams work to come together to bind? Okay. Hmm. Growth. Accept the lesson. When things don't go our way, something more important to the growth of our soul is in the works. Okay. Libra and I feel like this um, is part of this fear letting go right of um, the control of the outcome where it talks about here right And the thing is, I feel like that some of you may see that as a failure when things don't go our way or um, when it's not necessarily what we would like to do. Um, but it's been open to the unknown again, right? It's been open to the unknown again. Very interesting. These cards are flipping out really like quite cool. Thankfully they're landing on the table. Let's get one more card here. Tell us a bit more about this. Accept the lesson. Oops, I just knocked the box off the table. Um, I want to say about this also, Libra, is that sometimes it's easy to focus on the fact that things didn't go the way we wanted it to, rather than looking at, okay, what can I learn from here? You know, so um, yeah, and, and what I find quite intriguing is that this card here, when I first saw it, it's like, it's almost reminds me of a bit of a tombstone, to be honest. So there's something that feels potentially like a loss. But all the clouds around this tombstone also remind me of a rocket taking off. Like something's brewing. So it's important to put the energy into what is it that I want to brew supporting that even if you don't know what is going to be the outcome of that but some of you afraid are afraid of being deceived you're afraid of being deceived interesting this comes up when i was talking before about coloring outside of the lines right taking the time though taking the time that you need to do what you need to do to um put to rest you know, these sorts of things, the suppression, the fear, the control, you know, put those things to rest so that you can move forward, okay? Because the courage that it takes to grow to the light without support, without nurturing, the courage that it takes, even, even not about the growth, the courage it takes to stand in your power, and let your light shine needs your support. You need to have your back here. And so it's about you letting go, right? 
like it says here, of the attachment to the outcome. Because I feel like when you do that, you'll be able to shine your light easier because you'll be open for whatever to be created in your life. Okay, because there's no expectation. There's no expectation from yourself. You know, it's kind of like, oh, well, I should be like this and I should be like that. What if you let go of all that and just was you and, and just allowed yourself to be? Right? The pressure is off. Okay. Totality. This is about you being fully and utterly yourself. Flying. Flying. Okay. Letting, letting this um, guidance lead the way. Okay. Being open to that happening. Being open to just following the path that is laid out in front of you. Okay, and letting that work, right? Letting that work. So your path is yours and you can walk that path and whoever else is in your life can walk their path and you bring it together and you make it work, okay? You look at those dreams. You look at those dreams from years ago that you had, what you thought your life would look like, what you imagined yourself to be. You look at the little things and you see how they can teach you. Yeah? Because I can tell you now that um, if... It feels as though, Libra, if there's this continuation of suppressing yourself and stay to try and keep the control of your life, you're never going to be able to open up to receive what it is that you want, okay? Because it's sort of like you want everything to come in that you would like to happen, but it's being open to receiving it that it actually is the key, okay? So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that helped. We're going to read this again. Okay, dear you. Do you feel like you need to do all the work and fix everything for everyone or you might have no value? Maybe you think you need to control everything or else nothing will get done, be healed or completed, etc. You may think you need to conform to what others expect of you or choose a course of action to manipulate an outcome, but we don't think that would be a good choice. How about this? Even if it makes you temporarily uncomfortable, do something different. Set that boundary. Delegate responsibility to another. Ask for your needs to be met. And when faced with an impossible situation or sticky, enmeshed relationship, repeat this mantra. I didn't cause it. I can't control it. And it's not my job to cure it. Then carry on. Feels good, doesn't it? The best part is everything just seems to work beautifully and honestly in the end. Love you so, so much. Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.